knows what's what's up. Yes, that is what I'm doing right now. I just started the recording, so. Okay, um, so with that, uh, again, welcome everyone. Uh, this is AHAC 2020 virtually. Uh, and I know that this is a very interesting time uh, that we have right now. We, uh, of course, um, we were optimistic at first that maybe we'd be able to do something in June. Of course, that just wasn't going to be possible. Um, and as everyone I'm, I'm sure is well aware, uh, we're still amidst the pandemic. And uh, so doing any kind of uh, in person just still wasn't feasible. Uh, so we are going to do this conference in a virtual format. So I appreciate everyone who has um, come this morning. Uh, we had uh, quite a few people uh, that registered. So we are hoping that we have quite a people, uh, quite a few people that are uh, online. Hopefully, everyone's been able to get the links all sorted out. Um, and with that, uh, I'll go ahead and kind of get um, started. Um, so yeah, um, this is our first virtual conference. One of the things that I'll mention at the end of this presentation as well too is that this may be the first of many, uh, and we would like some feedback. If holding some virtual conferences like this is beneficial, especially to the group, um, we have discussed the possibility of doing this more, especially maybe in the fall uh, and, and maintaining the, uh, the in-person one whenever we can start doing that um, in the summer. Uh, so this may be the first of many uh, virtual conferences that we'll have. Uh, just a few things. So again, yes, anyone who's coming in as an attendee, um, the way that uh, this conference software works, uh, uh, everyone is coming muted. Uh, everyone does come in with their video turned off. Um, if I was, I mentioned this earlier, if, if you're going to be either on a panel or if you're speaking and you notice that you're not at the panelist level, then uh, just shoot us a message. And again, uh, there's myself, uh, there's Jay Staker, and there's um, Jennifer uh, Nelson, who uh, are all also sort of monitoring the system as well too. And so they'll also be there to to help you guys if if we need to. Um, I do want to ask everyone give us a, a little bit of leeway here. Um, even though I know a lot of us have been doing uh, probably web conferencing uh, for quite a while now, um, especially for me, this is the first major conference that we've done. Uh, so there are still a few things with doing like an event like this that we're still kind of navigating. Um, so I appreciate everyone's patience with that. Uh, there so, is a Q&A Matt, section. Matthew? Yes, oh, yes. I was going to ask you, please clarify, do you want people to be using the chat or the Q&A, please? Yeah, I was just going to get to that, James. Thank you. Um, so there's a Q&A section uh, that is in, in, in the event. Um, the Q&A section will go to all the panelists and that will also go to everyone else, will go to those of us that are also monitoring it. Uh, correct, it, it doesn't show up. Uh, it should show up when we post an answer. There is also a general chat as well too. And again, we will also monitor uh, that chat uh, feature as well. Um, what I would appreciate if people uh, go ahead and post things uh, in those forums um, especially with the Q and A, because that way we can go ahead and see those, and that just prevents any um, disruption um, to the presenter uh, for that. Um, if there are any other questions or anything that comes up during the day, uh, please by all means uh, you can go ahead and email me uh, direct. I will be, you know, I'll be monitoring my email most of the time, um, and again, we'll try to, uh, you know help you guys out as much as we can. Again, asking just for a little bit of patience. Again, we're all kind of navigating uh, through this system as well, too. Um, one of the things, I sent out an email uh, earlier this morning, um, about 8.30 or so, and I'm happy to announce that. Uh, so it's always been a tradition with a hacks in the past that we've always tried to do some sort of a um, 
uh, a, a launch, a balloon launch, uh, especially when we've done the in-person events. And with that, we've decided to do that again. Um, we are able to do a balloon launch at Iowa State University. So my students uh, did do a balloon launch. Uh, our original plan was to try to live stream that. Unfortunately, we, we ran into uh, a obstacle with that. Uh, however, we do have live tracking. And so I don't have much of an update. I know that my students contacted me just shortly before the conference. Uh, the balloon was launched at 8.45 a.m. Um, I created a shorter URL here in case you didn't get my email or something like that. There's also the longer URL that I provided. Um, and so uh, if you want to track it, um, feel free to do that. And hopefully, you know, that helps a few or, you know, kind of uh, is something that, again, it's been always a tradition that we've had with our uh, past A hacks. Um, so this is the schedule. Um, the schedule uh, that uh, uh, the, the the schedule that we have um, right now. Um, so again, this is also up on the SBA website. Uh, so as soon as we're done with this, and we'll probably have a, a little bit of a break because I'll, you know, don't have too many more things to talk about. Um, uh, we'll have oral presentations starting at 930. Um, we will have morning posters. Uh, I do want to make the note that um, this is in those different WebEx meeting rooms that Jay Staker had sent out earlier. Uh, so we are doing that different from this event that we have right now uh, in WebEx. Um, we will then have the panel at 1130. Uh, and by the way, we will keep this event open uh, even during the poster session. So if, um, if, if people want to pop back in and out of that, you know, we will, we will keep this event going all day long. Um, we won't close the event or anything like that. Uh, so we will be here monitoring stuff um, even during the poster sessions as well. Um, we'll have our COVID-19 panel at 1130. Um, then, uh, we do have a, a couple announcements, uh, that we'll make, um, after that. Uh, I know Greg Guzik has an announcement he wants to discuss, um, at the end of the panel and going into that announcements break apart we have for, for lunch, uh, or our virtual lunch, I should say. Uh, 1245 to 115 is our, uh, keynote speaker. Uh, we will then have our afternoon posters from 1.30 to 2.15. Uh, our oral presentations from 2.15 to 3.30. Uh, and then we'll have our Eclipse panel from 3.30 to 4.30. So again, the posters are the only thing that will be different. So both the afternoon posters and the morning posters, those are set up into different uh, WebEx meeting rooms. Uh, the other thing with the posters too, and I... I apologize, I didn't, I just realized I, I probably didn't send out an email about this, but if you go to the schedule on the website, there is also links to all of the, there's a short YouTube video that all the poster presenters also made. Um, if you want to click on that and watch, um, all of them are less than two minutes. Uh, if you want to watch their little short um, uh, spiel about the, the posters that they have, you can watch that ahead of time. Uh, if, if you wish, and we'll, of course, we'll keep those up um, for a while. So uh, then at the end, we'll have um, closing remarks uh, and then uh, there will also be uh, an SBA meeting as we've always done uh, every year. Uh, and again, everyone's more than welcome to um, attend that meeting as well. Um, the SBA will be discussing things, especially going um, uh, next steps forward and, and all that good stuff. Um, a couple things I want to talk about just what's going on with the SBA uh, right now. Um, so we have about, let's see, when I checked this morning, I believe there were 39 um, current members. If you haven't noticed, one of the things that we have been working on uh, quite a bit over the summer, especially, is we've done a complete revamp, um, both on the website uh, and with how we've been handling uh, memberships. Um, the old system was a bit clunky. It was hard for us to manage uh, members. Uh, we had a lot of membership that were lost because it just wasn't a good management system. So we have a new system, which hopefully people are enjoying. 
Um, and as you can see on the map there, we have uh, uh, quite a few members and quite a few members from all over the US, which is great. Um, so for all the members that we have that have signed up, um, welcome uh, to the SBA. We really do hope that you enjoy uh, the membership that you have. Uh, again, there'll be some more things that I'll I'll talk about that we will hope to be you know continuing to announce and and adding you know new features and and new benefits um, to members as we continue to grow. Um, so again, if if uh, you're interested, if you're like you want to um, uh, go ahead and uh, sign up, that you can do that through our our website, uh, and then um, go from there. Uh, current breakdown of the membership. Um, so we've got about, uh, not quite, about 60-40 split um, between, uh, so we have a student membership, uh, and of course we have a sort of adult slash faculty uh, membership uh, as well. So we've got about 23 um, that are student members right now and 16 that are um, uh, faculty uh, members in the organization right now. And uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I love to see all the student memberships. Uh, that's absolutely wonderful that we have uh, as many students. And of course, we encourage uh, if you have students that are involved, um, then uh, you know this, it's, it's great to see all those students um, becoming engaged uh, through that. Um, we have a couple new features. So I mentioned we we completely revamped the website. Uh, we did that back in um, I think it was around June, uh, and uh, completely overhauled it. We moved to a whole new service, uh, and uh, we did that partially for for um, cost reasons and also partially. Um, even though we kind of had about the same level of cost, we were getting a lot more features um, moving to a different service for this. And um, through that, we've got a couple things. I mentioned already that uh, we have much better integration with a with our membership management. So you can actually go through and you can um, uh, join. You can even manage your membership um, through the website now. Uh, one of the other things that we have that I don't think a lot of people are aware of and we haven't really officially announced much with it uh, right now. Um, is uh, you can now uh, we have a, a method for people to submit upcoming uh, balloon launches if they want to, and we'll go ahead and post it on our calendar. So we have two calendars um, we have um, uh, that we have right now. We have one that we, is specifically for the AHAC schedule. I think that's what a lot of people have been probably looking at right now. Uh, we also have kind of a general events calendar as well too. And um, so with that, we can also um, post, you know, upcoming launches and and uh, we would definitely want to hear what other institutions and other groups are doing as far as, you know, uh, what what kind of balloon launches that they have. Um, so, again, there's a form there um, and uh, feel free to use that if you want. Uh, again, I put the one from this morning on there um, and. There's some kind of nice features with that. Um, we have a store. <laughs> uh, so we have merch. Uh, and again, um, if anybody is interested in any of this, uh, I would encourage you to go to the store. Um, I am hoping to uh, expand some of this uh, uh, in a little bit here, um, probably actually within the next week or two, mostly because the uh, when we first started, by the way, starting a store during a pandemic, um, not a great idea. <laughs> uh, the reason why the the items are limited right now is because the company that we work with this, um, a lot of their manufacturing capabilities wasn't fully operational. Um, that's changed. A lot of them have now kind of been able to get more back up to 100% um, uh, operational status. So we will be adding some additional items. Um, we're planning to add um, uh, some shirts and a few other things in there as well, too. So, again, uh, and by the way, this does help the SBA. Um, the the uh, profits that we have from this do go, of course, directly into the SBA. Uh, and again, that's funding that we can always use for additional things down the road. So one of the reasons why I mentioned this is because uh, this is, again, something that if you want to help support the SBA a little bit, 
um, and get a cool mug or some stickers out of it, then this is definitely one way that you can do that. Okay, so again, um, please let us know on any feedback. We'll try to monitor things as much as possible. Uh, right now, um, we are planning for in-person for June of 2021 um, at Iowa State University. Now, I'm sure as everyone is aware, uh, we will of course be continuing to monitor the situation with COVID-19 and with the pandemic. And uh, of course, we also have to work with uh, the university um, but if, if things go well, that is our current plan for right now. And of course, if that changes, uh, then we will, we will try to let everyone know, um, through the website, uh, through our social media, uh, links that we have as well too. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, if this is something that, uh, you, uh, as, as folks that are interested in, in high altitude ballooning, want to see more like this, you want to say, yeah, I think it would be kind of nice to have maybe a, a virtual conference, maybe a scaled down, um, you know, instead of maybe a full blown conference or maybe some more uh, talks um, or even workshops like what we did yesterday. Uh, please let us know um, the feedback that we get from you guys help us to determine what we both the members and, of course, the, the larger community would like to see. Uh, and we definitely want to try to help everyone out as much as we can. Okay, so that is all that I have um, as far as slides. And yeah, we're at 922. So uh, we have a little bit of uh, time. Um, let me go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Okay. Matthew, would you like to go to that tracking website and show it and share your screen? Yes. And I actually have it up right now. So this is the sidetrack, and it looks like this is where we're at. So this is Ames over here, and this is looks like where we're at with right now with the balloon. I'm trying to see if I can. Um, yep. So yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, don't need that. Trying to, uh, thought I had an altitude. I'm not seeing the altitude right now. Um, but yeah, that's where the tracking is. Um, we're right now, our prediction was to land, I think about an hour and a half from Ames um, is what our last prediction was that we had. So. So I can keep that up if, if you guys want. Um, is there any other, um, uh, questions or anything? Uh, yeah, Matthew, uh, this is uh, uh, Guzik. I was uh, wondering about um, when we get to the panel about uh, screen sharing, is that something you will have to enable for, for me or? Yeah, so what, what we'll do with that, uh, with the screen sharing is all we need to do is we just need to go ahead and um, Put that person as the presenter, and once they're they're marked as presenter, then you'll you'll be able to um, uh, share whatever you need from your screen or PowerPoint or whatever you have. So, all right, yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll only be me, and then the the other panelists will 
will communicate yep. auto, audio. So it should be pretty straightforward. Yes. Yeah. So with, and, and this goes for all the other presenters as well too. Um, we'll make sure that we get you um, promoted up to panelists and then we'll mark you as presenter. And then once we have you as presenter, then you can go ahead and, and share um, your screen. And then um, we'll go from there. Yep. Yep. Could you also, uh, uh, secondly, could you talk a little bit about this, uh, the sidetrack website? Is this your uh, guys uh, website or is this, uh, what, what, what's the history behind this? Looks uh, very nice. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, my students have been working on um, kind of revamping our software that we've we've been using for a while. And so this software uh, is, uh, we've had a student that writ, uh, wrote this. Um, this uses a cesium background, which is um, provide some of the, the mapping and the 3D um, features that you can see there. And they have been working on a um, both for prediction and for tracking purposes, uh, and then having it available through a website, you know, instead of just like writing a, a normal PC app or or something like that. All right. And so this is right now actually being hosted um, uh, at one of my students' place. So uh, so far it seems to be holding up to the traffic uh, just fine. Um, and uh, we've been we've been working with this now for the last couple of years, um, and it's been kind of going through a few iterations. Uh, we will make this available. Um, uh, there is a GitHub repository that has a lot of the code right now. Um, we're going to actually just probably push a few more changes here probably this month um, because it's almost getting to a fairly stable. There's a few. There's still a few features we want to add to it, but it, it's it's getting closer. So, okay, good. Um, since it is about nine twenty eight, um, why don't I go ahead and I'm going to stop sharing. Um, let's go ahead and uh, give us a second, and we're going to probably go ahead and get. The first speakers that we have this morning um, uh, set up. So, um, and then Matthew, are you just doing a continuous running recording, or are you trying to turn it on and off between every single speaker? So we will go ahead and and uh, I I was gonna I wasn't gonna do it in between the speakers, but I was definitely gonna do it between sessions. Um, uh, only because I think that way, I mean, if we want to, if we want to video edit to each speaker, we could, we could do that. Um, well, that's fine. I just thought, I thought Jay was going to be running that, but you're the host. And so Jay might not be able to do any of that right now. Right now he might not be able to. Yeah. Same thing for getting people promoted to panelists. I'm not sure that Jay can do that. You might need to Matthew. Okay, I'll double check that. I, I I thought with having them as an alternative host, but it, it's it's possible that since I'm logged in that um, it's, it's, I, it's disappeared for me. I can't. Okay. It. All right. So we need Bill Brown up there. Yep. Um, 